Hello, this is Julia Whittup with Talk Story Media, and today we have with us Mo Mom Manua Minori. Minori. <laughs> no worries. It's totally <laughs> fine. I know it's a difficult name. Okay. So, and you are going to talk to us about what? Um... Okay, so what would you like to talk about? I can talk about what we are doing and uh, the approach that we take here uh, with uh, the, the, this new sort of a business that we've started uh, and the philosophy that we are taking. That sounds interesting. Yeah, this uh, Climatrix? Cy the Cymatrix. So uh, we... Um, we started this startup in January. Uh, what we are doing is, so I'm an architectural designer by profession. I was educated and trained in architecture. Mm -hmm. And uh, my husband is an electrical engineer. So we are both professionals. Mm -hmm. But we both have been involved with mindfulness and heightened state practices. This is actually, I'm, uh, it's nearly three decades since I got started on this journey with that now. Right. And what we are doing is we are combining our spiritual practices in enriching our professional practices. And we realized over the past two, three years that we can actually help a lot of other professionals like us uh to empower their lives and enrich their lives using the spiritual practices that are aren't typically considered, you know, things that can uh, transfer really easily to your professional practices. Aha, uh -huh. so tell us how this works. Okay, so um, we, the, the business is called Numa Being, it's a startup, tech startup. We, um, we brought in a lot of our experiences and, uh, We've been teaching people mindfulness and uh, um, how to have out-of-body experiences and astral projections and altered states uh -huh. for a while now. So we decided let's combine that with technology and show people some of the sensations that they can have when they're having these experiences. So um, we created this piece of furniture last year called the Cymatics. It's a reclining that has ergonomics and uh, a really beautiful design. And we embedded our patent pending technology to, um, to it, it stimulates uh, different parts of your body uh -huh. that uh, can take you into a very deep relaxed state and a very deep mindful state. But your mind stays awake while your body relaxes. So it can enter like hypnagogic states and, um, and from that, it's very easy to jump into like out of body experiences. So have this very heightened creative state. And how does it stimulate with electric current or what? It, it, it has this undulating, really subtle micro vibrations that travels throughout your body. So we have different modes. One of the things that it does is that uh, it's like a very rhythmic undulation that increases the speed and the frequency. So uh, by that, it mimics this body scanning meditation technique where you uh, guide your mind. Think of it like um, training wheels for a mm -hmm. bicycle. So this is a tool that we use when we are finding it difficult to guide our focus throughout our body. Mm -hmm. This mechanically shows you, like guides it, guides the vibrations through your body and mimics that mindfulness technique. Now, so is it in conjunction with a recording or? Yes. 
Okay. We have created several different tracks, several different modes. So that's one of the modes. And we have other different techniques also that, um, and then it's, it really, what we are doing is bringing in practices from ancient mindfulness techniques and ancient shamanic practices, really combining sound and uh, vibrations with the body to sort of tap into this inner potential. Mm -hmm. And um, we are just, we've come up with the technology to show it like guide the attention that's the that's the trick with it hmm. okay wow can we see it or is it too is there one nearby uh well i'm right now at home because la is in a little bit of a yeah. lockdown today uh but you can go to our website and see it it's all over the website oh um, okay. it's nomabeing.com that's n-e-u-m-a b-e-i-n-g dot com okay um, yes um and and it's really so we are not just that product so that's one of the products so um we have a space called the numa mind spa where we are bringing in all these different technologies that we are developing and all the techniques that we have used in, in, like um over the past three decades you know uh, awesome. into this one space to curate all of these that has worked for us so we are just sharing with the rest of the world okay so, yeah. what other what other uh, machines do you have so we have virtual reality uh, where we show a person what it is like to have an out-of-body experience and go out of your body and feel some of the things that when you are out you can feel like you know when you're flying through mm -hmm. and you can see and there's this sort of like a expanded vision all of that we are trying to capture through the virtual reality experience uh, oh. we have another experience um called the uh synaptic projections it's a um interactive art piece and uh, you put this headband called the Muse headband. It is a commercially available meditation training tool that's mm -hmm. available out there. So we just took that and we are using the brain waves that it's detecting to arrange the artwork. So the individual different particles get rearranged or organized based on how you are able to bring your focus in your mind. So people who have a lot of experience in mindfulness or meditation showed some really interesting results. They were able to coherently bring together all the pieces to organize to a beautiful organized sphere. So um, are they doing this on their computer? Uh, it's it's um it is on the computer yeah uh -huh. so you wear the headband and we have it at the studio uh at, at the uh mind spa where you wear the headband and you look at the screen or you can just close your eyes and meditate and okay. the pieces will organize itself okay yeah so it's sort of a biofeedback machine yes, cool definitely. yeah very cool well, and what was that, uh, um, what else do you have? Is that those three are the main products? Uh, we have integrated binaural beats to the, uh, to the cymatics experience also. Okay. So, uh, so you know, like the Robert Monroe, uh, mm -hmm. all those techniques. And there, there's a, a friend of ours who came up with this app. So we are integrating that into our module. And then uh, we will soon be integrating uh, uh, PEMF, that's the, um, the magnetic field, pulse uh -huh. uh, magnetic field into the cymatics also. Because the idea is we know there's a lot of science coming out about different applications of mindfulness. It's great for 
you know, in our existential questions, but there are also a lot of applications that can um, empower somebody in their personal development, in their day-to-day -day life. So uh, we are focusing on four different things. There's the healing component of it. There is the relaxation component of it. There's the creative insight component of it. And then uh, there are also some active mindfulness techniques that can help you in uh, boosting your alertness or like, you know, giving you that little boost to jumpstart your day. Oh, okay. So we are focusing on those things, but the underlying principles that we are bringing into it, like our thesis is we are really working on trying to expand our understanding and find applications about lucid sleep techniques, which means lucid dreaming, out-of-body experiences, hypnagogia, all these techniques, and apply to day-to-day uh, -day things that you would not think that it would transfer well to. Like what? Um, so a lot of the... That, that there is a little bit of science coming out about this right now, but there is a uh, misconception that techniques like this are just spiritual. What we have realized is from a personal perspective that it can really help improve your creative output, your creative performance, problem solving skills, your insights into um, in strategic planning, but also looking at the bigger picture and being able to zoom in to the next action steps. So it's really working in synergy with a lot of the business principles that's happening in the world out there. Uh, it's just like we are figuring out how to marry these two things into uh, one place. Wonderful. It sounds great. I wish it was nearby. <laughs> LA is yeah. far away. I would love to check it out. We are in Los Angeles in Chinatown, uh, but we are hoping. So we, we just made our first uh, unit and we have that in our showroom right now in Chinatown. But our goal is to be able to get units out there into places. So hopefully in the next year, we'd be able to get one or two into Boulder and Denver and you that'd know, be great. Like, <laughs> yes, that's that's what we are hoping. Yes. Thank you. Okay. All right. Anything that anything else that I haven't asked you that you'd like to tell us about? Um there are things there's there's a lot of research coming out about the benefits of um mindfulness and heightened states that we are finding that can help things like uh recovering addiction recovering from ptsd helping with the things like opioid crisis oh, but what okay. it really does is that it's facilitating a cognitive shift in it's, it helps us shift the way we think about the world about ourselves and the relationship that we have with the world around us and the relationship that we have with each other and the environment. So our goal is really to be a little part in helping people have those cognitive shifts because the gadgets, they're exciting, but ultimately we inside are the ones who are doing the work Mm -hmm. And that's the point that we want to uh, help people any way we can, you know. Have you thought about bringing something like this to a festival? Like uh, we're having Shaman's Camp in August. You yes. That yes. We, we definitely want to, we were planning to do all of that, uh, you know, in the, in the, after July of this year, before the pandemic happened. Yes. Unfortunately, the pandemic changed a lot of the, lot of the um, uh, plans that we had. So right. hopefully in the next few months, we'll figure out how to be able to safely 
go to yeah. these places and be able to offer uh, demos and uh, sessions at different festivals. Like that's exactly what we want to do. We oh, would love wow. to come to Shivanik Arts Festival. Okay. Well, we're we're meeting in our. We're going to go ahead and try to have it. <laughs> Uh, we'll see let's if it see, happens. Let's see how we can. Yes, that would be lovely. Okay, Thank I'll you. send you info on it and see if you want to try to come to this year or next year for sure. Next year for sure we will be there. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Shiva. Thank you for being with us today.